oh man, you suck. Oh, do you understand? You know, um, are you good? You know, um, is this good enough? <laughs> So uh, today, uh, what we're going to be talking about is what is your primary question? So what is your primary question? So um, I found this to be very, very useful. Uh, Mary and Monique actually have attended Tony Robbins event. And uh, we find that uh, this thing totally changed our perspective because uh, you give the meaning to every experience that you have. Okay. So what does that mean? Let's say, you know, your mom talked to you get on to you oh why did you wear red today instead of yellow <laughs> right there's two reaction right one is oh mom why do you have to control me why do you have to tell me about all these things or you can say oh man my mom is really loving me and just want me to wear a better color than the other right it's two different meanings it just really depends on what meaning you give to them give to it right uh, sometimes you know you might be eating some food and maybe they are a little bit too hot right people can say Oh my goodness, this food is just so hot and it suck, right? It's just so bad. Or you can say, oh man, this food is so hot, but it really spice up my life, right? It's the same event, two different outcomes. So question is, who is the one that give meaning to our life? It's us, the boy. Herself. It's us. Very good. So why do I say that to you? Because I didn't know about that in the past. You know, I just have my own, we call it the filter, right? It's almost as like when, when you go outside, there's a sun, right? And, and it's hot. And then what do you do? You either not wear anything on your glasses or you wear sunglasses. The filter that you put on, it's how it determines what do you see in the world. I didn't know that initially that was what was being conditioned. It's called conditioning. Because again, growing up, you know, uh, whatever your mom and dad always say, right? Um, you know, don't ask, just listen. Uh, why do you ask this question? Just listen to what I have to say. So then growing up, we started to, you know, initially as a kid, you ask a lot of questions. And then at the end, you just stop asking questions because that's what your mom and dad do, right? I, I even catch myself say that too. Uh, you know, sometimes like my kids is like, why mommy, why, why, why? And I was like, just do what I tell you to do, right? And then I was like, no, I shouldn't say that because then I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop them from asking me the why and then stop growing from it. But why do I really ask you all this? Obviously, you know, now you become a two, two part, uh, two part call, right? So the first part call is obviously, you know, the, your society, you know, the society, the family, everything conditioned you. And that's, you know, we become who we are. The reason why we started with this virtual system business is because we found out that, you know, a lot of mm. time and we have a lot more passive, especially, you know, we're Asian, you know, a lot of time we just follow what our parents are saying. We don't really challenge. The kids in the United States usually challenge the parents a lot. Why? No, why, why not? You know, you know, if, if you ever ask your mom and dad a question and your mom and dad say, no, no, I, I really don't know. Do you guys really ever tell them that? Mom, dad, you need to use your brain. If they say no, it's a no, right? You're just, okay, I, for some reason, you just learn to not challenge them, right? Which is a good thing because obviously I do enjoy that, you know, a lot of virtuals is not very submissive. So if I say something to you, you just say yes, right? However, sometimes when you need to be a leader, right? When you need to become a, um, you know, I call about the irreplaceable virtual assistant, you know, somebody is really good. You will need to start, sometime you need to start challenging, you know, not just challenging, but just remind your um, your client like, hey, but boss, by the way, I think this is what it is. I think this is what is that, right? We just recently hired Rhea uh, to be a content writer, uh, kind of like what, you know, Rose used to do. And Cease was just told, telling me that, you know, her and uh, Cease and Johanna yesterday was having fun because apparently they were doing this uh, dot, 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 what, ellipse or whatever. And then they were telling C's, hey, you know, I don't think you need to put this here. You, I don't think you need to put it there. And uh, C's is like, wow, you know, I love this virtual assistant, even though she's only been here for the third day. But she said in a nice way, ah, boss, I, I don't really think, think you really need that. <laughs> and uh, the funny thing is I was like, well, I told you about that before, but you never listened to me. The problem with, the, with between the husband and wife, right? If somebody else tell you that, yeah, this is a very valid reason. <laughs> But, you know, but the thing is, he find her a very valuable virtual assistant because she speaks the truth. Well, boss, I really think that you might have to change this to this. Let me show you why. Let me show you how. Right. So um, I wanted to challenge all of you to sometime, you know, take the leap of faith to ask the right question to make sure that you show your boss that, well, I mean, I can really think on my own because the truth is you can't. 
because sometimes we're so grown to not ask questions and just follow blindly. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not so good. So going back to the what is the primary questions. I want you to really think through, you know, from you growing up till now, right? Especially when you're upset. What is the one question that you always ask yourself about? And then I would love you to type in on the chat to let me know. And I can share with you what is mine so that way you kind of give you a perspective. So if somebody say, ah oh, man, you know, Vanessa, you suck. Or uh, right after you finish a conversation with Kenny and, uh, you know, Charmaine, and you're like, oh, do you understand? You know, um, are you good? You know, um, is this good enough? Right. When we are asking you about, you know, hey, um, I think that the font size wasn't doing well. You know, what do you usually ask yourself that question? 